What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder, but this time using a fun kind of off meta team we got glacier and cresselia alongside with loaded dice rillaboom and we also have the dark and fighting urge food so should be a fun one looks like a few cool pokemon that we haven't used too much such as glacier and uh dark urge food and uh hopefully we can grab some wins with this one especially with this rillaboom loaded dice bullet seed rillaboom come on man not too many people have used this. I, don't, I don't think i've ever seen it on the rank ladder so Again, let's try to use this team, grab some wins for you guys, and get cooking from there. But you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But our first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Fluttermane. Fluttermane's got Protosynthesis and a Booster Energy. That's pretty normal. But then this moveset is kind of not normal, right? It's got Dazzling Gleam, Icy Wind, which you do not see on it too much. And then Shadow Ball and Charm to lower physical attack. I'm really liking that. I am really liking this nice little off meta build on this Fluttermane. Hopefully we get to rock out with it. Grab some wins for, for you guys. But uh, Glacier is going to be our second Pokemon with Chilling Knight and Leftovers pairs up perfectly with Cresselia because Cresselia can set the Trick Room up for it. It's got Body Press, it has Iron Defense, Ice Silver Crash for Stab, and then Protect for its fourth and final move. In the third slot, we got the Cresselia. Cresselia is a great support Pokemon alongside of being a great Trick Room Pokemon. Got Levitate and the Rocky Helmet with Icy Wind, Lunar Blessing, Helping Hand, and Trick Room. In our fourth slot, we got the one and only Loaded Dice Rillaboom with the Grassy Surge as its ability and Bullet Seed, a Fake Out, Leech Seed, and Protect. Gonna be pretty cool to use it. You can Fake Out for Flinchage, you can Leech Seed for more HP recovery, and then you can just Bullet Seed with the Loaded Dice to get off some big time stab damage. So, super excited to be using that Pokemon. Fifth slot is going to be Life Orb Heatran. This Pokemon is just so good all around. It's got Flash Fire as its ability with the moveset of Heat Wave, Earth Power, Flash Cannon, and Protect. In our final slot is going to be the Dark and Fighting Urshifu with Unseen Fist and the Focus Ash, Hitting Hard with Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch, and Detect. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner. But let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Loaded Dice Real Boom and Glacier Trick Room team. First match is on its way, and we're going up against a Tornadus and Urshfu team with Rillaboom, just like us. They also have Heatran, just like us, and then for Rigorath and Intimidate Landers. How should we play this one? Who should we lead? I could go into Trick Room, potentially, right? Crest would not be a bad Pokemon to lead. I could also go into Fluttermane. I kind of want to see Fluttermane's stats, first and foremost, and it's going to be boosted in speed, which is not too bad. It's actually a bulky defensive HP Pokemon. That's a little wild, so it's kind of there just to pester on some physical attackers. Hmm. Who should I lead? I mean, they might lead for Rigorath. Rigorath could definitely come out here for a lead. I might just go Fluttermane with Icy Wind for speed control. And probably just go into the Urshifu, right? I think that's a solid little lead for us. And then we'll bring Rillaboom and Heatran in the back end. I could definitely get down with that. So all Pokemon besides our Trick Room, Cresselia and Glacier, who were so well in the Trick Room. But I don't really see them leading Tornadus here, right? <clears throat> I mean, they could, but I just feel as Rigorath would be a better lead. But you never know. They, they, they'll probably lead the Tornadus now that I said that. So Tailwind coming out from their Tornadus. They're going to take complete speed control. But I still really like my Fluttermane here. Very bulky Fluttermane. Which is odd. But uh, there it is, of course. Tornadus and Urshifu come out here. And I'm going to throw out Fluttermane and my Urshifu. Okay, so I am bulked onto the defensive stat, which is huge. My HP is boosted as well. I'm thinking of just Icy winning. Will Icy win really do much? Not really. Should I just Dazzle Gleam instead? I think I'm just going to dash and bleed and maybe just sucker punch this thing. Hmm. Now we'll go for a wicked blow here into the tornado slot. And we'll go for dash and bleed on top of that. Just to get off some damage onto Urshfu. But chances are he's going to thrasize in the water. He's just going to start punching up onto my Fluttermane. So Fluttermane's probably dead, right? I mean, it's bulked in HP and defense, which you don't really see too much. It's usually special attack and, and speed. But maybe, just maybe you could soak it up. But probably not, right? Because they could set rain. They can do a lot. They can Terra, which I think that's what's going to come out. I think a Terra from the Urshfu is going to go straight water for some big time damage. So we end up just withdrawing Urshfu, and I'm really fine by that. Heatran's probably going to come out here. And yeah, that's, that's I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm actually really cool with that. And he's not going to set up a Talon, which I absolutely love. Maybe I should have Icy Wind. Icy Wind could have been a big time play for us. But we do have Focus Dash, which is huge, but we survive on 5 HP anyway. And I can get off this wicked blow. I can just get rid of Tornadus. And no Tailwind gets set up, which is beautiful. It's lovely. We love it. We love it. 
So Heatran's a little bit of a problem. Just due to its typing and all that, but I do have Heatran of my own with Earth Power and all that good stuff. And then I also have... Who else did I bring in the back end? Why can't I think of the final Pokemon that I brought? Rillaboom. We brought Rillaboom. Oh, they also have Rillaboom. That's hilarious. A bunch of same Pokemon. Fake Out. Probably going to come out here. Um, I think from here we slow down these people a little bit. Yeah, we're going to slow them down. With Icy Wind. And then we will just detect you. Because I'm not dealing with a Fake Out for the KO. So detect them come out here. We're going to start slowing down our enemies. Hopefully we can get off a turn after this. And we'll go from there. The lovely little fake out into the earth suit. We block up. We're gonna icy win, and then they're probably just gonna flash cannon. Take out my flutter main, but we can go from there. I kind of really like where we're sitting. Hmm. There's the flash cannon. We can say night night. And do I go into Heatran from here? Probably, right? I think we definitely go into Heatran here. I think for sure we go into Heatran. And then we can just heat wave onto the Rillaboom. And on top of that, go for close combat into the Heatran and save Rillaboom for, for late game with Fake Out. Oh, yeah, I'm all about that. I'm all about that. Because we know he has Earth Shield. So if I could save my Rillaboom for potentially Earth Shield late game, that could be big time. That could be big time for us. So from here, I'm just going to go heat wave and be my best friend. And then I'm just going to close combat. Yeah, close combat's going to be a solid move. Considering it's going to drop our defense, but we're at 5 HP anyway. We're, we're looking to get off as much damage as we possibly can. So. Chances are they're going to terrestrialize one of these guys. They're going to terrestrialize either the Heatran or the Rillaboom. And the one that they don't is going to take a nice chunk of damage if our moves land. I've not been good with Heat Waves recently, so I'm a little skeptical to use this Heat Wave. But I trust my Pokemon. I trust them all day long. I trust them to make the right call. I trust them. But the good thing about this is Urshfu will go first. So if Heatran stays in here. Heatran stays in here. It's a gone. Even if it protects. It's not cool. So close combat's gonna come through here. We can say bye bye to Heatran. Get it on out my face. Absolutely dump into that. Heatran should be faster than Rillaboom now, because we icy wind earlier. And Heat Wave might be able to KO with life orb. And it's landing too. See, I told you, I got faith in my boys. I got faith in my team. Big time heat wave lands, and that's pretty much gonna wrap up the match. They got Earth Fu in the back end. Um and I'll just start, you know, attacking this thing, right? I still have Rillaboom. Rillaboom can easily 1v1 this. Easily, no problem. No problem. So the Earth Fruit comes out here. I think from here, we're just going to try to drop a close combat and a flash cannon into that. Actually, probably Earth Power. I can do a little bit more damage because it's neutral. So I'll go close combat here. I know I could go Sucker Punch, but it's not very effective. But they end up just canceling the battle. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, 1-0 to get things started. Hopping into our second match for today's video, and we're going up against a Houndstone and T-Tar Sand team. They also have the Iron Hands for Fake Out and just being Iron Hands, and then they got Heatran for Rigorath, and last but not least, they are rocking out with Tornadoes for support. Do I go into Trick Room Squad? I could go Glacier and I could go Crest, but the only problem would be if they lead for Rigorath. For Rigorath, just a little bit of a problem. We don't really like that Pokemon too much. And Fake Out could be a problem here as well. So do I go into Rillaboom? I think I might just go Rillaboom and Crest, try to set Trick Room up that way. I think that could be a little bit better for us. And then in the back end, we can bring Glacier, because Glacier is going to be super effective onto a few of these guys. And then Urshaboom. I'm cool with that. I can get down with that. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two and go back to back here. But I just realized it is the brand new season. We just started off 1-0. And, and actually, I did load into our second match, and my opponent disconnected before the match even started. And it gave me another win. So I'm 2-0 right now. We're actually kind of close to Master Ball too. We are in a, uh, we're all, we're in tier ten of Ultra Ball, so I'm actually really close to Master Ball. I think if we win this one, we have a chance to get there. But we gotta focus on this match. They go Iron Hands and Ferrigi. This is exactly why I wanted to lead the what's it called the Rillaboom to fake out the Iron Hands, but now it's kind of we're in a whack spot. I'm actually just gonna leech seed Iron Hands, and I'm just going to go into. Do I try to pull off the Trick Room? Yeah, I might as well try to. Pull actually do i i mean they're pretty good with the trick room i'm just gonna go for an icy one i'm just gonna go for an ice one i'm just gonna slow them down a little bit we're not gonna go for a trick room because he's gonna take me out around this so the fake out comes out here rocky helmet doing damage which we absolutely love and we do land a leech sheet which is big time so i'll get off the leech sheet i'll get leech sheet hp and on top of that i will get terrain hp and frigograph what are you doing it's a real question you're just gonna pop a trick room 
Okay, so you want the trick room. That's fine. Do I cancel it now? Do I really want it? <laughs> Do I really want it? <laughs> I think I might want to try to cancel that now. Was still Leech Seed's gonna come out of here? I think I'm gonna try to set one up on Frigoraph. Just get after it that way. Leech Seed coming into you. You get a Leech Seed. You get a Leech Seed. And. We'll just Lunar Blessing while I try to set these up. I could go into Glacier. Chance are he's not going into a Drain Punch in me, right? Probably not. I'm gonna go into Glacier. Let me see your speed real quick. 62. What's your speed, Chris? 105, you're actually pretty fast. You know, we're just gonna Lunar Blessing. I'm gonna try to get Rillaboom just to, just to get some turns out here. The Drain Punch is gonna come into him. We're gonna be able to soak it up. He's gonna get some HP back. And on top of this, who goes first? Cress or Frugraph? Frugraph's just gonna imprison. That's fine. I'm, I'm healing the squad back up. And I'm throwing a Leech Seed that I'm hoping to land here. Can I land this Leech Seed? Can I please land this Leech Seed? It'd be, it'd be beautiful for me. It'd be beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. So, Leech Seed, yo, one of my favorite moves in doubles is Leech Seed. I don't know why. I just love it. I just love it. But Rillaboom is set up just dandy here. And now I'm just going to start throwing Bolt Seeds across the board. I'm just going to start targeting down this Frigograph. I'm not too worried about the Iron Hands like that. And do I just Helping Hand? Yeah, might as well. Helping Hand, Bolt Seed, Loaded Dice. Come on, man. It's Stab. It's going to have Terrain Boost. I'm just going to start ripping. I think I more so go after Iron Hands. That's exactly what I'm going to do. You want the Smoke Iron Hands? I'm coming after you. I'm Bullet Seed. Not playing around. I wonder if they could take out my roll. roll they end up withdrawing just for a graph, which is totally fine. They can't really take out my roll here. And T-Tarts to come in hot here. That's fine. I'll set up a lead seat on that in a little bit. We're not playing around. We just simply, we just simply are not playing around with the lead seeds. Helping hands can come out here. Our opponent's probably like, yo, what's going on? Because this team is very unorthodox, right? <laughs> it's very weird. Drain Punch is going to come out here. That's fine. That's fine. You can have that. You can have that HE back. We're still lead seeding in India. We're still getting off some nice damage, all that stuff. And now we're just going to bullet seed here. How much damage are we going to do? Okay, so four or five shots of that is rather solid, right? Rather solid. It's an understatement. Here's four. Can we do it again? Yeah, we got all five. Beautiful sight. So this is a lovely little sight. So we hit him five times. Do I leech seed into the T-Tar? Or do I just protect Lunar Blessing here? Have options. Hmm. Love the HP that we're getting back. Love it. So we're slowly sapping down the Iron Hands, and I'm thinking of just going into Ghost Type here, right? And just lead seeding you, or you know, I'd, I'd be better off bolt seeding. Do I want the Ghost Tower though? I mean, I can dodge the Drain Punch. But I think I'd rather just save it for later, to be honest. I'm going to go for the Bull Seed in this thing. And I am just going to go for a Lunar Blessing to heal the squad. So we end up withdrawing Iron Hands. That's fine. That's fine. It's cool with me. So we save an Iron Hands for later. He's going to go back into Frigoraph. So if Frigoraph comes back out here, no Terra, please. He's just going to protect. Okay. So I get, I get some free HP for Rillaboom. I get some free HP out here. So we're just slowly wasting out these trick room turns. Uh, terrain's probably gone soon. So I might just... Might swap in Glacier, especially if they want to pop trick room. Hmm. So we kind of got nowhere here. We kind of got nowhere. I got off a little bit of damage on the Iron Hands after all these turns. And my Pokemon are kind of sitting at full HP. So you know what? I'm just going to Leech Seed into you again, because chances are you might just terrestrialize the, uh... You might just terrestrialize the, what's it called? The T-Tar. So I'm going to Icy Wind in case you want to terrestrialize into that Flying type. We can at least get off a little bit of damage. We'll go from there. We'll go from there. We'll play this one slow. We'll definitely play this one slow. I feel as we have to kind of play this one slow. Robum's just chilling here. As long as I'm landing my Leech Seeds, we'll be fine. But now that I said that, we're going to miss our Leech Seed. And it, it's going to be okay because I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it when that time comes. Their opponents thinking what they should do. I think they are going to Terrasize Titar. There it is. Easy read all day. 
He targeting that Terra. Oh, is that going flying? Is it flying? It's fairy. It's a fairy. He targeting. Okay. The heat train would have been awesome. Dude. But it's all good. So we'll deal with that. That's the gleam's gonna come cooking. We're able to soak really well. Heat is gonna use a crunch. We're gonna be able to soak that. And on top of that, can we land Leech Seed? Ooh, Rocky Helmet damage. We love it. Ace Wind's coming in hot here. We'll slow them down. And now Trick Room is done. The speed gets dropped. My terrain's done as well. Kinda hurts the soul. And can we land the seeds? We do, yo. Little Boom's just landing seeds left and right. He's not playing around. The Buffets are now flying. Uh, do I swap crest here? Well, Crest is now faster. I mean, Lunar Blessing could definitely be your friend. But swapping could also be your friend. Because if they're going into Crunch, we can easily swap into somebody else. Do we think they're potentially popping a Trick Room? Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to set up Leech Seed onto the T-Tar slot, too. I'm just, I'm here to Leech Seed all day. <laughs> I don't, I, like, I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I could go into... You, which I actually really like. But if you're going for Daz and Gleam, that's my only problem. You know, we'll keep, we'll, we'll keep, we'll keep her here. Because I can get some HP back. I guess I'm just withdrawing for a graph. I'm just playing this one slow. Gonna go back into Iron Hands, probably. Houndstone now comes out here. Okay. We could have actually popped the Churkin, which would have been nice. And I'm gonna land a Sleechee. <laughs> the hard punch probably like, yo, what is going on? But like, I'm not gonna... I'm not just gonna stop putting the pressure on him just because the game's taking long. I'm just gonna keep sending leech seeds. We'll get back some nice HP. I think maybe we can eat up a crunch here. Can we eat up this crunch? We can. Oh, Buffets are gonna KO us. My soul. Rocky Helm is gonna chip up a little bit, which we love. And Buffets are gonna take out the press. Uh, from here, since they already used Terra, I mean, Sucker Punch is gonna be our best friend. So I'm just gonna Sucker Punch the Houndstone, and I'm just gonna start throwing Bullet Seeds. Bullet Seeds. And Titar takes uh, damage now, which is awesome. We need to seed him up. And we'll go from there. Houndstone could be sashed. Of course you got the berry. Of course. You little fatty. Eating your berries. Get them all out of here. So we get back some HP. Awesome dope. Glacier. Mm, probably not now. We'll save it for, for late game play. We'll go into here. But I know I can just sucker punch the Houndstone. And even if it protects. Actually, should I just know? We're just going to go into Bullet Seed here. And I'm just going to go into Sucker Punch. It's my best, my best call. Easy call. Easy call. Don't overthink it. If they want to protect, they can protect. It's fine. I think it's just a simple call to go into this. Because then we got Bullet Seed flying onto the other slot with loaded dice. Ends up just withdrawing Houndstone. Okay. I feel you. I understand. But Rager F comes out here. I mean, he probably should have swapped T-Tar. To be honest. That would have been a little bit of a better play. Just a tad bit of a better play. Bullet Seed's gonna come in hot here. And, ooh, it's not gonna KO. That's a crit, too. Not all of them are doing that much damage. Coming close, though. Wow, that's so close. T-Tar's actually gonna die to Buffets and Leech Seed damage. But te of course you got Terra Blast. I got Sash, but then I died to Sandstorm. This one's actually gonna be rather close, right? Really close. The Terra Blast coming in hot here. A nice swap from an opponent, but we get rid of T-Tar here, which is massive. And I think I just start setting up the seeds, right? I gotta be setting up the seeds. The seeds are our best friend. <laughs> just are our best friend. <laughs> seeds are just awesome. Oh, wait. Okay, I was gonna say the buff and end it. And actually, that means my boy survives here. And the sandstorm's gone. Oh, yes. That probably makes Urshfu fast on the field. Money. We love it. We love it. And I forgot they have Iron Hands still. Tough. Tough plays with Iron Hands. So from here, I'm just going to set up a lead sheet onto the Frigoraph, and I'm just going to detect. I mean, I would fake out that there or two. Such a good battle. Going back and forth. A lot of lead seeds. A lot of swaps. A lot of action. A lot of turns. The fake out is coming into the Urshfu. The detect working his magic again. Just like in the last match, we just detected the fake out. And can I land on the lead seed? My man, yo. Rillaboom just planting seeds, man. Our opponent's probably so annoyed. I would love to get the reaction. They end up popping a trick room. That's fine. Actually, I can't sucker punch. I simply cannot sucker punch. 
We're gonna get some leech seed HP. I am gonna take out the Iron Hands next turn. If they want to swap in a Houndstone, they can swap in a Houndstone. But I think from here, we just hard swap into Glacier. No, we want to keep Robin out on the field. We're gonna Bullet Seed to get rid of the Iron Hands. Yeah, yeah, that's a good call. Bullet Seed to get rid of the Iron Hands. And now that Trick Room is back. Do I just let Urshifu die out here? No, because I'm probably going for a Gleam. I think we just save Urshifu, because Sucker Punch could definitely come in clutch later. I'm going to swap my Urshifu. We just can't Sucker Punch right now, because Frigoran for Armor Tail is just showing. And I highly doubt they're going for a Drain Punch into that Urshifu slot. It's probably Drain Punch into, yeah, the real room slot. Easy call. So to get back some HP, uh, we should be able to actually kind of finish this one off with uh, with Bullet Seeder. The Dazzling Blame is going to come cooking in here. And we make the reads of their plays. Bullet Seed's going to fly. Should be able to get rid of Iron Hands with the loaded dice. Ooh, that's cutting it close. That's cutting it real close. We're guaranteed four shots. We're not guaranteed five. Ooh, we need five. Rillaboom. I need you here, dog. Rillaboom. My man. <laughs> My man. My man. Because loaded dice only guarantees four to five shots. So we still need a little bit of RNG. Rillaboom is just eating today. And now Frigoraph cannot swap out. Which then means my lead seed is there for the rest of the match. And I got left over, Joe. Dude, I love this roller boom. It just throws out off so many people, right? Like, what are you doing? You're, you're landing a bunch of bullet seeds. You're lead seeding. You're getting back so much HP. It's just awesome. It really is. So now Houndstone's going to come out here. Back out here. Trick Room's out and about. We save our Glacier for a good time. That Glacier here, um... Do I just set up the seeds or do I just start attacking? I think I just start attacking. So I can go after Frigraf and at the same time, I'm going to drop an Ice of Crash now. So. Ice of Crash is going to land. We love it. And we're going to do a nice chunk of damage. We have Flinch Chance too. Gleam's going to be cooking. And Houndstone, where are you going for? Oh, Will Boom actually goes first, which is massive. Real massive. If I can get rid of Frigraf, then it's game set match. I, just need, I actually should have targeted down the Frigraf. Is that four? Oh, dude, we need a five there. Five wouldn't be big. And Houndstone gets a flinch, so Frigraph's just going to die out the lead seed. And we got this one on lock. And the reason I said once Frigraph goes out, we win here, is because I had Urshfu in the back end, even with one HP. Soccer Punch will just KO this thing all day, so they have no terror type. We would have won this one. So there it is. Frigraph goes down here, and we're oh, cooking. How many lead seeds did I pop? I popped five lead seeds. It actually doesn't seem like... It seems like we popped more, but five lead sheets is a lot, considering we landed them all. That's just huge. So, Ice of Crash. Bullet Seed is going to come out here, and that, that wraps it up. That wraps it up. Our opponent should cancel the battle, knowing that we have Urshf in the back end. There it is. Battle is canceled. 2-0. and oh. We're now 3-0 and oh in the brand new season. Let's go hop through a third and final match and look for a perfect record. Ladies and gentlemen, check it out. We are one match away from a perfect record and going into Master Tier. We are 3-0, and oh, and I would love to get Master Tier on the first four battles of the brand new season. That would be awesome. Well, technically three battles, but still, we lucked out with somebody disconnecting. But final match is here. We're going up against a Reggie Draco team. These these guys are rather annoying. Reggie Draco and Tornadus. Powerful combo. I could lead Fluttermane. They also have Landorus. They have Heatran. They have Fluttermane. They have Amoongus. I think our Fluttermane is going to be a solid lead. Do we want to pop Trick Room? Maybe, but then it... it but then it makes Amoongus annoying. More so, right? Amoongus could be so annoying. But you know what? I'm still going to leave Fluttermane. I really like Fluttermane here. And on top of that, I might just lead a fake out user, such as Rulu. Maybe set up some more lead seeds. <laughs> kind of get after it that way. I really like it. Heatran is going to be a little bit of a problem for both of them. So maybe do I just lead Urshifu? Potentially, right? Potentially, I could lead Urshifu. I could. I also have Charm on this thing for physical attackers, but that would only be good up against the Lando. Um, hmm. I think we have to lead Urshfu just for that E-Tran being in here, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna bring Rillaboom and Heatran in the back end. Actually, I could lead Heatran on my own. That's not too bad. That is not a bad call. Actually, I want to do that. I'm gonna lead Heatran and bring Urshifu as a back end Pokemon. Alright, so 2 0 today's video, 3 0 on the record. I dude, I wanna get mastered here so bad here. Just a quick just a quick first video of the month and first day of the season. 
Master Ball tier. That'd be awesome. I mean, I did, I got, I got Master on the first day before, but not in like the first four matches. That's <laughs> just wild. But Landers and Heatran are going to come out here. That's really fine. I could definitely charm up the, uh, I could definitely charm up the, the what's it called? The Lando. And I think I'm going to, to Rasslize Flutter him in here. I'm not, I'm not really looking forward to a Flash Cannon, right? Not, not looking too, too hot. So yeah, I'm going to Rasslize here. I could go for an Ice Wind, but Charm's going to be lovely. So I'm just going to Charm. And I'm going to just try to pop an Earth Power. It's going to be four times super effective onto him if he doesn't Rasslize. That's some big time damage. And I don't, I don't really see a reason to ask why he trained with Rasslize. I mean, Lando does have ground type moves. Ooh, maybe we should have our heat train. But still, if I can charm up this uh, this Lando, that could be big time for us. It could be big time. So, out comes our tower with Fluttermane. We're gonna hope that they don't tear it. We got a nice lovely water type because I do believe a flash cannon could be going out here. I'd rather just Terrasalize into a nice little water type. A good thing I'm not straight fairy. Type. A lot of Fluttermanes are. This one working out good up against heat trains. And they're gonna end up terrasalizing. That's gotta be Lando, right? No way, T Train. It is Lando. Okay, so Lando's gonna come out here with a big time tower. It's just gonna go into the flying. Tower. So, what are you trying to do, Lando? What, what's up with that terror? What's up with that terror? He Train's just gonna end up protecting. Okay. He Train with a nice little protect. And I get the charm. So, you're gonna be now minus two on attack. I know you weren't expecting that. A flutter me with charm. Earth power's gonna get blocked. And it's good to know I outspeed these guys. It's just huge. And Terra Blast is cooking. So I just want to get off the extra damage, and you're gonna go after my Flutter Mate. Can you eat this Flutter Mate? Your defense bull. Yeah, oh my god. And he's minus two. That's just lovely. So from here, we can now simply just go into, I think, a nice little Shadow Ball in that slot. And I keep Earth Power and Heat Train. Who they might swap here. We know we got the speed. We know we're already faster, so no need for Icy Wind. Flutter Mate's just chilling. ZBs are great too. It's fully bulk defense and HP. So going up against Pokemon League Land is huge. The Shadow Balls are gonna get cooking. Doing some nice damage to that. We get a drop. We do not. And Earth Power's gonna get cooking on this side. Life Orb, all that stuff. We just get rid of the Heatran. My man, yo. I love getting like Heatran is just always such a threat. So getting rid of it is just massive. So Heatran's gonna take some Life Orb damage. A U turn's gonna come out here. He's gonna pivot. He's gonna do about five damage to me. I really like that. So they could go back into Lando, but I highly doubt that considering we have two special attackers on the field. The so big time KO from us. They're gonna go into Amoongus. Yeah, I don't I don't like that too much, right? And who else are you gonna go into? Back into no way you go back into Lando. You are gonna go back into Lando. Okay, so going back into Lando. Now we can just simply protect Heat Chan because chance our rage powder's coming out here. Actually, I mean I could just icy wind and heat. I already outspeed. Icy Wind. Nice little Heat Wave. We can look to just try to kill the Lando through the Rage Powder. I'm really fine with that. I'm really fine with that. Yeah, we knew Rage Powder was already coming out here. I know I outspeed. Plus, Flutter Main is going to go for an Icy Wind to the lower speed again. And we'll just go, go from there. So, can Heat Wave? Heat Wave should be able to do that much damage. But, again, I've been missing my Heat Waves. But I got, I got full... I got full confidence in this. My man Heatran coming in hot. We do not KO the Lando, but we get rid of the Moongus, which is massive. And we have a low HP Lander. So he's probably just popping EQ, correct? That correct? No, you're just terrible. You're going to get rid of who? You're getting rid of my Fluttermane. You're leaving my Heatran on the field. That's cool. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. So now I can definitely bring out Rolling if I want to. Fake out in Heat Wave if I wanted to. And I can save Urshfu for leaking, which I think is a better a better play for us. So I'm just gonna go into my lovely, lovely little Robin, who I'm loving in today's video, especially after last match. It was just awesome. And they're gonna go in the Reggie Draco. The Draco comes out here. Um, I think I'm just gonna fake it out and then Heat Wave, right? Definitely my best play. Fake that out. Send a Heat Wave across the board. Heat Wave, hoping you can land, especially on Landorus, the big time. And then we'll get cooking from there. Yo, I love you, bro. Me and Heat Wave are back in business. We are back in business. And we get a burn. Me and Heat Wave are back in business. But yo, I'm going to show you guys my rank after this. 4-0. Master tier already? Come on, man. Come on. Instantly getting us the master. This team right here. Instantly. Instantly getting us the master tier. 
Which is awesome. Plus, we're playing so good. We really are. So Reggie Draco is taking damage. I, 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 I would think they would just leave the match, right? I'm going to lead sheet just in case and just go into a nice little flash cannon. But battle's probably going to be canceled. It is 3-0 perfect record for you guys. That is honestly crazy. Look at my rank, 322 on day one. We are 4-0 in the master, and I never push rank in this game. This is my highest rank I've ever been at just by recording. It just worked out perfectly, but that's crazy. We're 4-0. Maybe I should try for a hard push this season. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like to see that. If I do do a hard push, I would probably be using meta teams and trying to learn really, really well because we're off to a hot start here. So maybe we could try pushing top 100. That could definitely be very, very cool. But guys... That's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.